Hey everyone, this video is sponsored by FlexiSpot and he sent me the OC6 Classic Pro Max to try out. The OC6 Classic Pro Max is a big and tall, heavy duty, ergonomic mesh office chair and FlexiSpot wanted me to try out their OC6 and compare it to my Steelcase Jester office chair. You'll definitely want to stick around for this video because there's actually several things that I like better on the OC6 chair than I do on the Steelcase chair. And best of all, the OC6 only costs one fourth the price of the Steelcase Jester. So this video could potentially save you lots of money. There will be an affiliate link down in the description below if you are interested in buying the OC6 chair. So first let's talk about the OC6 chair. It has an ergonomic Y-shaped frame and base that can support up to 500 pounds, which is actually 100 pounds more than the gesture can support. And that's important for a big and tall person like myself. I'm six foot three and about 260 pounds. And when I sit down on the OC6 Classic Pro Max, I feel fully supported and comfortable on this mesh chair. The OC6 has a Bifma certified mesh material. It's really comfortable and breathable. And this helps prevent the seat from getting too warm and uncomfortable. The mesh material has been tested to endure impacts of 110 pounds over 400,000 times, which means that it will remain firm even after years of use. The LC6 includes a removable headrest, adjustable lumbar support, as well as upgraded wheels. And the great thing is you don't have to pay extra for these features like you do with the Steelcase Gesture. This mesh headrest is one of the most comfortable headrests I have tried, and it does a great job of hugging and supporting your head when you rest your head on it. The lumbar support is adjustable and has nice padding on the inside portion of it. And it feels great on my back when I'm sitting down on the chair. The OC6 does require some assembly when you receive it, but it only took me about 30 minutes to assemble and it wasn't that bad. So now I wanna talk about how the FlexiSpot OC6 Classic Pro Max compares to the Steelcase Gesture. So here's five things that I like better on the FlexiSpot OC6 than I did on the Steelcase Gesture. So first thing I like better is the headrest on the OC6. It feels really good and I like it better because the mesh fabric really hugs your head as you lay on it. And I actually feel some tension relief on my neck when I'm resting my head on this headrest. The headrest only adjusts up and down, but what makes it comfortable is the mesh fabric. Although the headrest and the steel case gesture has a lot more adjustment to it, as you see right here, I can never get it to feel just right. It always doesn't feel comfortable for some reason, no matter which way I adjusted it. Also, the other plus of the OC6 is that the headrest is removable. All you have to do is remove two screws and pull a tab and you can remove the headrest with no problem. However, on the steel case gesture, once you order a steel case gesture with the headrest, there is just no way to remove it. If you don't order a steel case gesture with a headrest already, there's no way to put one on afterwards. So a steel case gesture has a drawback that you have to decide on the headrest at purchasing time, and it does cost a couple hundred dollars to add the headrest. So the second thing I like on the OC6 better than on the gesture is the fabric. The OC6 has made me a fan of mesh chairs. The mesh fabric is just more breathable and the seat doesn't get warm after sitting on it for a few hours. It also feels comfortable sitting down on it and it kind of hugs your body, which feels really nice. The gestures fabric is pretty nice, but does get pretty warm after sitting on it for more than an hour. And the third thing I like more on the OC6 is the comfort. It feels more comfortable, especially for a big and tall guy like me. I just feel more supported in the OC6 as a bigger guy. On the other hand, the gesture seems like it will be a better fit for a skinny person as it has a slimmer contour design. As you can see here, it kind of tapers in from the sides. And the same here with the backrest, it kind of tapers as it goes up. And the place you feel the biggest difference is in the backrest. The backrest on the OC6 is several inches wider than on the gesture, which makes quite a big difference for a big and tall person such as myself. The fourth thing I like better on the OC6 was the seat. With this seat, I just feel more supported. Sitting on the seat just feels much better when it comes to my butt as well as my legs. I just feel more sturdy, especially this area right here where the chair ends and the back of my leg is. The inner portion of the seat where your butt rests feels really nice to on the mesh area, but the outer portion where like your leg rests on is a little bit more sturdy. It's a harder material, but it does have some padding there to make it comfortable. And the LC6 feels good whether I have the seat 
all the way back or if I push it all the way forward, such as this. Those positions both feel good, although I do like tucking it in as it makes me sit a little bit straighter. Now compare that with the gesture. With the gesture for a big and tall guy like me, I have to scoot the seat all the way forward. And so if I turn this knob and put it all the way back and then I sit down on it, I want you guys to pay attention to the end of the seat and the back of my knee here. There's such a big space. It's just not enough to support my legs when the seat is all the way back. Now let's put it all the way forward. So putting it all the way forward is the only way I feel comfortable in it, but there is a problem. And again, I want you guys to look at that area where the chair ends and the back of my knee. Now we don't have as much space here. However, look at the seat. You see this portion here where the back of my leg is pushing the cushion down. It's actually kind of bending down with the weight of my leg and that's not good. It doesn't feel comfortable. And for example, if I put my legs up, you notice it even more, it just kind of dips down and that does not feel good. So that's one big drawback of the steel case gesture for a big and tall person such as me. And last but not least is the price. With the OC6 costing one fourth the cost of the steel case gesture, it makes it a very affordable choice so you can get some additional savings there. On the other hand, the steel case gesture I purchased was very expensive and the only way I was able to save some money was to buy it during Black Friday, which only happens once a year. In addition, I had to pay quite a bit extra to get the gesture with everything I wanted, such as the headrest and the lumbar support, which added to the total cost of the chair. Although the gesture has better adjustability for its arms with its 360 degree design and a lot more customization options, such as the type of fabric you want on your chair, colors, and so on, the FlexiSpot OC6 is a much better value. I hope this video was informative and if you're interested in buying this chair, there is an affiliate link down in the description of this video that you can click on for the best price on this chair. And I'll see you guys in the next video.